This would be our Tidwell 55, and on today's project, I have uh, installed, and I'm going to do a little review of a program called Vector Linux. Vector is a Slackware derivative. I've never really messed too much uh, with Slackware distros. Slackware is one of the is the oldest uh, desktop Linux Linux distro out there, and it spawned plenty of derivatives. Uh, there's some live CD tools uh, that that security and rescue professionals use uh, that are based on Slackware. Uh, Slackware has a reputation of being the real of being kind of an expert level Linux. You don't really install a Slackware distro so much as you build it. Well, I can't say that about uh, Vector Linux because I will say one of the strengths of this particular operating system is its installer. Uh, and I'll get I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, this comes as a live CD uh, but I don't believe that you can actually install it from the live CD. You have to download a separate installer CD. And when you install it, it'll remind you almost a little bit of maybe installing uh, Windows XP because there are a couple of restarts involved. Uh, that's kind of the first time I've ever experienced that with installing a Linux system. But but there you go. I mean, it's not the, it, it may not be as pretty as some other installers off of live CDs uh, that you've seen but it does one thing really well that I like and I would like to see more Linux distros take this approach and that is it lets you pick and choose uh, what you can put onto the system uh, meaning it, if you don't want the default office program you don't have to install it this distro I think is aimed maybe more at developers uh, than, than your casual desktop user and it does come with some uh, it does some, come with some development uh, programs right out of the box uh, the only drawback uh, and, and the and the CD installer itself is under 700 megabytes, so it will fit on a on a standard compact disc. Uh, if I could improve it, uh, some, uh, put in some way to connect to a network, uh, connect to the internet, and then uh, and then connect people to the uh, to the distribution repositories, so that maybe if what they put on the installer CD isn't available, maybe they can it would be available to uh, download other uh, software and updates at install time. But I think that that, but I like that approach of letting you pick and choose what components you want to install at install time. I think that's uh, that's something that I'd like to see other distros pick up. Uh, so you do get a complete Linux system with Vector Linux. Uh, has a link to a tutorial, uh, to some docs, and uh, to documents about the system, and a help forum. Uh, it comes with a Firefox web browser, calculator application, Pigeon Instant Messaging. Uh, comes with the GIMP uh, for photo editing and Shotwell uh, for viewing your photos. Uh, Exale is a media player. Uh, the dock down here comes with uh, with a weather widget. Uh, let me go up here to the menu. Uh, so under accessories, you see what you have there. This is a XFCE desktop, so it's pretty lightweight, pretty snappy, pretty fast. Uh, again, here's your development tools, uh, some games graphics internet uh, comes with Firefox Opera 
uh, browsers for multimedia you have Brazero for disk burning uh, Exile, Gnome Player, M Player, a mixer uh, Zine uh, for watching videos Office, uh, this doesn't come with LibreOffice uh, comes with Abbey Word for word processing, numeric for a spreadsheet I really don't know what JPilot is a calendar app text cards, PDF viewers and a link to get more apps under your system all of these uh, utilities to let you control various uh, aspects of your system so that's what you get as far as what's available as far as other software uh, we will go to see if I can find the package manager might be under system okay G slapped package manager so we'll open that up of course it'll last for your secret sauce and okay this is also not only is it your package manager it's also uh, where you can uh, you click that it will update the repos and then tell you what uh, what software updates you need to pull down uh, I'm just gonna do a search out of curiosity to see if they have LibreOffice in the uh, in their repositories and apparently they do not uh, again this is a slackware based system uh, you know where Fedora uses RPM uh, Ubuntu because it's a Debian derivative uses Deb and apt-get for uh, for package management and synaptic uh, with slackware if a package doesn't exist for it uh, and you can google around and look for uh, for the packages you know you can always you can always build it from source and you have the tools here with Vector Linux to be able to do that so uh, if you're uh, wanting to up your skill set uh, I wouldn't recommend this for a new user uh, for someone who's new to Linux but someone who has been around it a while who is knows their way around the terminal uh, and has maybe had to compile a package or two for something that what might not have been in uh, the repos whatever distribution he's using then uh, maybe give Vector Linux a try uh, you know, I like the layout. Uh, it it looks good. It seems very snappy and very responsive. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a bad distro. Uh, wouldn't be my first choice. I'm lazy. I don't like compiling stuff. I like installing things from Deb packages, but that's me. You know, I've been on Debian distributions pretty much ever since I started. So, but you know, if uh, if you're looking for a change then uh, maybe not a bad distro to try out well this is BR2Ball55 thanks for watching